Today we're going to be talking about hair. We live in a society where everyone is obsessed with hair. I'm obsessed with hair. We want to know how to cut it, how to color it, how to grow it, where to buy it. And today we're going to be talking about how to get rid of it. So I used to work as an esthetician for many, many years in a day spa. And my number one requested service, outside of bikini waxing of course, was facial hair removal. And I realized that there are a lot of women out there that's experiencing a sex excessive facial hair growth. And um, I decided to do this video to perhaps help guide you in the right direction for choosing the best hair removal methods that will work for you. Because I do realize that it's an embarrassing situation. And it also can be quite frustrating because many women are tired of spending money on products and methods that don't work for them. Or they're tired or embarrassed by, cover, by using makeup to cover up their skin. So hopefully this video will help you, okay? So before we go any further, let's talk about some common causes for excessive hair growth in women. And outside of smoking, there's a medical condition called polycystic ovarian syndrome. And basically that's when the female hormones are kind of out of balance due to um, cysts growing on the ovaries. And I'm not trying to freak you guys out, but tumors on the ovaries as well as on the adrenal glands can also cause excessive hair growth in women. So if you are experiencing that, I definitely recommend you talk to your doctor or have some tests performed because there could be some serious underlying medical conditions. So let's get that taken care of. Now another common cause for excessive hair growth is genetics. You can't do anything about that. Some of us are just more prone to, I guess, having more hair than others. Now you can thank your parents for that one. So thanks dad. Let's talk about how to get rid of it, okay? Now, outside of waxing, plucking, threading, which hurts like hell, so I don't recommend it for anyone, and bleaching, which doesn't do anything anyway, the best way to get rid of it for good is really laser hair treatment removal. Now, the downside is that it can be quite expensive, so if you have the bucks to do it, I say go for it because it is an investment that will change your life. Now, if you are a woman of color, or if you have medium to darker skin tones, then you want to be careful about the type of laser that's being used because not all lasers are made for all skin types. And if you do have more color, then um, lasers can actually cause hyperpigmentation, which is darkening of the skin, as well as blistering. So you really want to be careful about the type of laser that's being used. So research the laser. Also do your homework on the a dermatologist or medical practitioner that will be performing this treatment because you want to make sure they know how to work with your skin tone. Now if you have fair to lighter skin then you really don't have any worries because you have more laser options available to you so you're good to go. Now my favorite though because it's cheap is Vanica. Now I'm sure you guys have seen the commercials for Vanica and it really is the best thing out there. First of all it's cheap. It's like I think for two tubes you get it's two, oh God, two tubes for $80. You can't beat that. And also it works because what it does is it doesn't remove the hair but it stops new hair from from growing or reoccurring. So say this is your hair and here's Vanica. And basically it creates a barrier to stop new hair from reaching the surface. So you do want to continue with your traditional hair removal methods and you want to use Vanica uh, with that to stop the new hair from growing. But I'm telling you guys, if you haven't tried it, try it because it will change your life. And you want to be consistent when using Vanica. You want to use it um, twice a day, morning and night. And you also want to be patient because, let's see, I believe it's four to six weeks before you actually start to see any improvement. But you will see results. I guarantee that. Now, also, if you're experiencing excessive facial hair, you may have some issues with ingrown hairs. And basically, ingrown hairs is when the hair is trapped underneath the surface and it causes a bump because the hair around it, I'm sorry, because the skin around it is inflamed. Now, the best way to prevent ingrown hairs is basically exfoliating. And I am an exfoliating junkie. I love to exfoliate from head to toe. And the best time to exfoliate is really when you're in the shower because your skin is softened from the steam. 
And that is basically it. Let's just recap from all of my rambling. Laser hair removal is really the best method. Just be careful and research the type of laser as well as the dermatologist that will be performing your treatment. Vanica rocks. I love it. It's cheap and it is effective. And there really aren't that many negative side effects um, with Vanica. So you won't not have to worry about hyperpigmentation or anything like that. And also exfoliate, ladies. You want to exfoliate on a regular basis. Alright guys, that's it. I'm officially done. I enjoyed talking with you and I hope you learned something and remember to check out my next video actually which is Beauty Queen Gets Naked for Peace because I love peace who doesn't so.